that has a, a long-term effect on the fish. It can last up to three weeks. If each of you was talking to a major professional fishing league right now, would you advocate for allowing rubberized nets? Absolutely. Yep, I've had that conversation. 100%. Talking about pushing for nets, what's what's the gain? Visually, there's the loss in the product that you see. From the hook set until the release, there's there's a bunch of different things that happen. All those compound with each other. There's, they, they multiply against each other on, on the fish. So if you can eliminate or reduce the impact of something like simply getting the fish out of the water, it's so much more of a chance to survive at the end of the day because a lot of it has to do with, with stress hormones. The longer the fish is in a stressful environment, environment, those stress hormones go up. That has a, a long-term effect on the fish that lasts much longer than just releasing it. It can last up to three weeks. So anytime you can reduce those compounding factors, you're increasing the odds that, that fish is going to do well down the road. Mm -hmm.